All right, the moment we, we have been waiting for is top eight. My predictions on it. So essentially, it's going to go through top eight, and we're gonna have the entire uh, top eight go through, man. So that's, uh, I believe that's how it's gonna go for uh, next week. We're gonna go all the way to grand finals, and whoever's gonna take the fi uh, the giant nut. So uh, you know, just to uh, go over we who we have, that's Minotaur versus Sawblaze. And then Hydra versus Ribot. The a the, the drum slash egg spinners uh with Riptide versus uh Topperhead. And then we have Witch Doctor versus Huge. So that is your top eight. Again, you know, I must I gotta say the dr the drum spinners have been dominating, right? So that's uh it's kinda inter interesting to say, you know. Previously it was kinda like the fork and wedge game. But now you got like the egg spinners to like kind of shake that up, you know. It's like, nah, not really, man. You can, you, they can just rip those right off, you know. Um, that was uh pretty much kind of like that for most of the fights. Um, with some exceptions, of course, I think. But let's not get into that too much. I'm going to make my predictions of well, what's going to happen in the top eight, and who's going to take the giant nut. So let's go through um, uh, this side of the bracket first, and then uh, we'll, we'll see we'll be, who will be the finals on this side. So I think what we're going to be seeing on this fight is Sawblaze winning it. Um, last time I won that very, very convincingly, unless they, come, they, have a, they, uh, they keep up with the drum. Uh, like just aiming, just aim that drum at the forks from the side, and um, you know, it's kind of surprise him, right? Of course, hit him, hit him from the side, but Jameson Go is you know so focused, We're not gonna let that, that let that happen again with from other robots that is. And last time, I mean, you know, Sawblaze won that can very convincingly against Minotaur from having that hit going from the top down and stuff like that. Hitting from the top is such a such a fatal thing. Um, that thing's been hitting real hard too against all the other robots that have been armored up. You know, I mean, I mean we've seen that with Blip, with the with the, the black armor. I mean, uh, it's still got some nasty hits in. Uh, in fact, I think one of those nasty hits took out the flipper, which was why it wasn't flipping in the first place, unfortunately. Very disappointing in that part, but you gotta give it to Jameson Go for making that happen. It's not just like um, wiring issues or anything like that from the get-go. No, it hit the thing and that it took it out so that's you know the best way possible i guess you could say disappointing that we didn't get to see flips we gotta see why so we gotta give it to uh saw blaze for for uh uh going into this one you uh, know winning uh winning this fight against minotaur but um i think it'll definitely be a little closer because look at i mean seeing how uh well Daniel Freitas has been driving the, the robot. It's just nutty to see that gyroscopic just being in his favor. When you don't want that on um, most other robots, but it seems like he kind of wants it, right? Because whenever it gets flipped over, um, he kind of wants that to happen. So that way it can flip over um, again to get the, the drum to spin the right way. If it was able to spin the other way, it might have issues there, maybe with the motors and stuff like that. You know, yeah, it, it's a, an advantage, but that will also come with the price, right? In a way, so probably that's why he doesn't. Uh, they don't want those. They, they don't want that kind of uh, fig configuration. So, but I'm sure Sawblaze will get around. You know, the horns of the bull here, and it'll hit just hit from the top and take out the bull. So I'm gonna put my Put mine down for uh, Saw Blaze on that fight. Okay, and then we have uh, Hydra versus Ribot. We're gonna have uh, basically another sort of kind of a repeat because yeah, Ribot is dialed in, but so is uh, Hydra. I think Hydra is looking uh, really good, this, solid this season. Um, you know, but you just never know what happens, right? It's just something can pop up, some sort of bug can come up, but that can also happen with Ribot as well. So who knows? You know, judging from what happened last time, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could go either way. Um, but you know what? I'm actually gonna give it. I'm actually gonna give it to Ribot. You just never know. I, it's just something. There's just something about Ribot 
that has that surprise factor coming into uh, this bracket here. And I think it will be able to take out the flipper and just stay away from that flipper, maybe. But um, we'll have, uh, we we have to, we're gonna have to see. But um, I think it will be a good fight for sure. It'll put up a good fight. It could go either way, really. But I'm gonna pick Rib uh, just because of that surprise factor it has. Now maybe Jake can can just just cruise over, just just nothing, like it's nothing. Cruise over Ribot. But hey, I'm gonna pick uh, Ribot. For uh, reasons that um, could be surprising. <laughs> let's just put it that way. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's go. Uh, and then after that, though, I think with that, it's going to be um, pretty much with... If it's going to be um, Sawblaze versus Ribot, I think, I think, I think um, Sawblaze will take it. Take it. I mean... Uh, just something about being able to hit from the top down really does wonders for a lot of robots against a lot of robots and Ribot is just gonna be um, frog legs for for uh, saw blades. You know, slash and burn. It will definitely uh, make frog legs out of rib, uh, Ribot for sure. I think that's really all much I can say. So I think rib, uh, saw blades has the potent, definitely overall the most potential this time around to get into um, the grand finals uh, on this side of the bracket at least. Yep, so I'm gonna dial in. Uh, one of the grand finalists is going to be uh, Sawblaze in my predictions. All right, let's go into the other side of the bracket here, shall we? And uh, let's start off with Huge and uh, Witch Doctor. So I kind of said it, kind of hinted of where I'm gonna put my uh, my chips in for this one. And I think Witch Doctor is gonna win this fight and finally going to be stopping the sort of momentum for, uh, for Huge. You know, we've kind of seen it with Mad Catter. It was able to chip away the, the wheels. And that's kind of a hint of what's going to happen with uh, Witch Doc or, uh, the Witch Doctor fight uh, against Huge. It's uh, because the weapon is more powerful and endurable. I think it will be able to just rip out the, the wheels. And that's going to be David versus Goliath. Truly. And uh, David will pretty much take out this Goliath right here. Uh, I think that will be, that'll be the key for... This fight here. This one is going to be very tricky, but this is essentially a coin, like a literal coin flip by field. They're gonna go weapon, weapon, boom, you know, and that's pretty much it. But I don't know. It's really hard to say. They both kind of have not the best driving prowess in the world for these two robots. So they both let their weapons talk. And like I said, it's kind of like the, you know, the unstoppable force versus an unstoppable force. And if they decide to go head to head, who the hell knows what can happen? Maybe because of the shape, Riptide can win that one in that exchange. But I don't know, man. It's really, it really uh, can go either way. It's gonna be, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be, this is gonna be two powerful weapons going one after another. <laughs> so I have no idea for this one. This is gonna be real tough. Real tough. I'm probably going to give it to Riptide. It's been a very, very scary robot overall. I think it has the sophistication that Copperhead kind of lacks, right? And I think Riptide is going to take it, take it uh, for this one. And you know, trying to ignore everything else around what's going on, just to get the uh, just to talking about the robots themselves. I think. Riptide is going to win this one uh, of, of the two sp uh, drum spinners. Well, egg beater, but you know, it, it's, it's pretty much the same principle. But yeah. Um, but we'll see. We're going to have to wait and see. Again, because they, they're not both known for their driving. They're both known for their, their weapon. That's pretty much it. So It could go either way. But I'm going to give it a Riptide. Just because it's a shape. Something about it that they might come out um, okay in that in the trade, but that's if they even go weapon to weapon. That is. Now, when it comes to Witch Doctor versus um, Riptide, though, <sighs> hmm, 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 hmm. I think they're gonna like really take a look at what happened with Hypershock, right? Don't don't turn so wildly. 
right? They're gonna really just stay on, um, stick their front into uh, the egg beater, right? And uh, yeah, they have the weapon and they have to uh, make less mistakes. You know, Witch Doctor has to make less mistakes. But I'm, I'm really feeling that my gut is telling me that Witch Doctor is going to come out of that. They're going to be the ones finally stopping Riptide. They're going to really stop the tide. You know, the waves and stuff like that. But... It'd definitely be a really good uh, fight. It could be a really short short fight, for all we know. I mean, with how Riptide has been performing, right? But, you know, yeah. It has exposed wheels. Um, they can hit him there. But I don't think they're, like, slippery or anything like that, from what I can remember, but I could be wrong. Um, you know, that's what kind of, like, what was I was afraid of with Hypershock, was the, the slipperiness that it has, because it's so fast. But I don't think Witch Doctor kind of has that sort of driving. It's very much more take it slow kind of thing in comparison to uh, in comparison to Hypershock anyway. They'll, they'll, they they might unleash that driving against someone like uh, Riptide because they kind of have to move around. So I don't know, but something tells me that uh, they're going to be very unstoppable. So I think um, they're going to be finally the ones to uh, put an end to it. But yeah. Um, so I think, I think Rich Doctor, I'm going to, uh, give, give it to them. And they're going to go into Grand Finals, therefore. After all this stuff, though, after all that, hmm, this is going to be pretty tricky. If this is, if this is going to be the case, right? Um, they're going to have to, like, he, he's going to be, like, Jameson, he's going to be very focused at this point. Hopefully, but we, we've seen mistakes happen, so you just never know. So if it is going to be down to these two robots, though. Oh, man, this is uh, this is hard stuff, man, but this is fun. <laughs> but so um, I'm just going to go with favorites this time around and I'm going to just hope, hope that um, Sawblaze wins the, the entire championship and therefore winning the giant nut. I think um yeah, uh even in and in, 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 even if Riptide wins that fight, I believe before Sawblaze was able to beat uh, Riptide. It was the only one of the only other robots to beat Riptide. So they could happen again. I mean because well while they're yes dialed in, so are they. So, you know, this robot is definitely dialed in as well, you know. So I think overall, um, either way, uh, I'm going to give it to Sawblaze for winning the Giant Nut in my predictions. So that's all I'm pretty much, I'm going to lock it down. And that's it for me. I uh, hope I'm right, but either way, we're going we're gonna to have some, some juicy fights with this top eight i very much look forward to it for next thursday that'll be a great day for me so thank you very much for uh everyone who has tuned in for this video really appreciate it guys what's your bracket looking like like for top eight and the rest of it right all the way up to grand finals who's gonna who's gonna win it you know who's gonna win the individual matches who's gonna who's gonna be in the grand finals for you guys who's gonna win the giant nut overall I like to see those comments in the comment section below. I love to read them and uh, let's have a you know friendly discussion. You know I'm all for that, right? Um, we all have different opinions, of course, different perspectives, and I'm all, I'm all to, uh, open to see you know what what you got and why maybe you know that's what uh, that's what having a, a great discussion is all about, you know. And either way though, we're gonna have a great epi uh, episode to wrap up uh, uh, World Championship Seven and. If you have been looking at what's going on beyond that, I think next year is going to be a very exciting too. So, but for right now, I think Sawblaze will take it. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. There are other links in the description to help out the channel as well if you want. Again, much appreciated. So this has been my top eight sort of predictions going all the way into who's going to win the uh, giant nut. Again, thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the next video and we're gonna have a good time because it's going to be 
Robot Fighting Time. Shout out.